The public will have the chance to take a closer look at the vision plan for a renewed Levy Park in Winona at an open house scheduled for the end of this month. At its meeting last Tuesday, Levy Park Redesign Committee members finalized the plans for the Levy Park Open House to be held Monday, March 31st from 4.30 until 8 p.m. at the Winona County History Center. Nine areas will be set up explaining various aspects of the proposal from the history of the project to visual aids, plan diagrams, and a map where people can add their comments and ideas to the vision. The main reason for the open house is to obtain public input on the Levy Park vision plan so that the committee can be better informed what the public in general thinks about the plan. And uh, the public input will help the committee in its final recommendations to the City Council this June. People will be able to learn all about the context of the plan, um, all the research that went into the plan, a little bit about more about uh, what the plan means, um, the different aspects of the plan, and a lot more than uh, just kind of what's been out there so far in terms of uh, floodgates and, and the wall and stuff like that. There's a lot of other parts to the plan that are very exciting and I'll be showing and presented at the open house. When one looks at the preliminary drawings, the plan looks overwhelming and expensive. But Espinoza stressed that it is important for people to remember that this proposal represents a vision and may not be the final reality. I think that's something that we're really trying to stress with the open house too. You know, this is a vision plan. It's not necessarily a construction document. You know, anytime you have a big project like this, you have to start with a vision. And what eventually gets constructed has elements and concepts of the vision, but the details are usually different. So that's why we want to get the public's input at the open house so we know which parts of the plan that people in Winona really like so that we can emphasize those moving forward. As for the timing of the park proposal, Espinoza feels this is a great time to be knocking around ideas for making the park better. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on in downtown right now. Uh, you have the bridge project, you have the Levy Park uh, vision plan that we're looking at right now. Uh, you have the recent Main Street program that was started in the downtown. So there's a lot of energy and there's a lot of movement uh, going on in the downtown area. So um, attendance at the open house is very valuable to not only the committee, uh, but also everybody in the city because the more information we have from people that live here, uh, I think the better recommendations that we'll be able to make to the council. So let's take a little tour of the vision for Winona's Levy Park to give you an idea of some of the proposed features. So we're going to start here on the eastern edge of the park. Now if the plan were approved as it is now, a big change would come with the removal of Cal Fremling Drive. It's right behind me here. What you would find instead is an access point for launching canoes and kayaks onto the river and also a place for people to get their feet wet in the mighty Mississippi. On the upper elevation of the east portion of the park, here there would be an overlook from where one could take in the riverfront view along with a sculpture that would pay tribute to John Latch. And right next door would be a cafe with an outdoor seating area. Now as we walk westward towards the bridge, one would find open grassy areas, much like you find today. The grandest feature of the park's vision plan would be at the former site of the Julius C. Wilkie Steamboat Center. Here at the former site of the Julius C. Wilkie Steamboat, this portion of the levee would be removed, allowing access to the park from Main Street. There would also be an open air stage and raised lawn seating. It would be here that the gap in the levee wall would be filled with a removable floodgate that would be erected during the flooding season. Now if we continue westward through the park, it remains fairly unchanged until you reach the area of the bridge. Construction of the new river crossing will create an open space under the new span where plans call for the construction of a river education center, as well as a sculpture garden, parking, and a trailhead for the Mississippi River Trail bike path. Before any work can begin, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers would need to approve any portion of the plan that would alter Winona's dike system, of which Levy Park is a part of. Now again, that public open house will be on Monday, March 31st from 4.30 until 8 p.m. and will be held at the Winona County History Center. There will be two 20-minute presentations on the plan itself being held at 5 o'clock and another at 7 p.m.